hi welcome to Liz's easy living thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe I may look like the crazy cat lady or the lady from Cinderella putting her little kitty on her lap because I am this is blaze he says hello he's gonna review the wine with me today so what we have is day 10 of the oh what fun wine countdown calendar that I got from Kroger I was super excited to find it because they really sell out fast and I didn't think I was going to find it. So this was at the very top of one of the end cap shelves. So I had to do a little searching to find it, but luckily I did. So we've gone through days one through nine already. And for the most part, I've liked all of the wines. Some were not as good as the other ones, just because it's my personal preference on how my wine tastes. I like a nice dry Chardonnay. I like a Merlot. You know, it just depends on my mood and if I'm eating something or if I'm just having a glass of wine by itself. It really depends on that. So my day nine was a Sauvignon Blanc and it was okay. Not my favorite type of wine, but it was decent. So let's see what this day brings. So we're on day 10. Uh, I don't have these in order. I don't know why. Maybe just for fun design purposes so you can guess where to look. I don't know. Alright. So we have a Malbec from Mendoza, which is Argentina. It is dark complex flavors of plum and black cherry and spice. So it's also 14.14% 14 14 alcohol, which is pretty good. So let's see what we've got here. I have not had a Malbec in here yet. And I'm not super familiar with them to be completely honest. Smells like a Zinfandel. Smells fruity, doesn't smell oaky or dry. Um, I don't know if I would say black cherry, but we'll see in a second. Ooh. It's definitely drier than it smells, but it goes away really fast. So the mouthfeel is gone already. Um, I definitely taste some black cherry in there. It is totally sucking the moisture out of my mouth, so it's a very dry wine. But it's crazy because it goes away so fast. So it's light, but it's dry. Um, yeah, I guess a little bit of plum, like, um, plum and black cherry are pretty, you know, they're not super sweet, but they're okay. And then it says spice, so, hmm, not really getting spice. Yeah, I don't know about the spice, but this is probably under a Cabernet for me. I don't like it as much as I like the Cabernet that I tried earlier um, in the advent calendar. The Cabernet just seemed to have a little bit more flavor. This one just kind of like flies away. It's weird. Um, but... <sighs> I'd say 6 out of 10. It's okay, but definitely not my first pick. I like the Zinfandel, and I like the Shiraz way better than this, and the Merlot. The Merlot was good. So, I'm just trying to find out what spice they're talking about. Maybe little bit of black pepper. So 
So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you sticking with me for the 10 days so far. And we have another 14 days to go. Christmas will be here soon. Tune in tomorrow and I will have day 11 for you. And we will see you then.